not sure what should I include in my science class report. What should I include in the paper and how should I organize it? When you write a science report, you may not include whatever you want in it. There are some kind of rules to follow and components to be included. So today, we will discuss what kinds of components are in scientific writing and how these components are organized. Typically, the structure of a scientific research paper consists of four parts or four sections. They are introduction, materials and methods, results, and discussion. Each section consists of paragraphs, and of course, the paragraphs consist of sentences, phrases, and words. The purpose of introduction section is twofold. First, to interest your audience to read your paper, and second, to provide sufficient context or background information so that your readers can understand your work uh, independently. At the same time, you probably want to include the problem statement, research questions, and experimental approach. This is a part of the introduction on a research paper on nuclear engineering tailored for simple explanation. As we have seen in the previous slide, we have the information on background, problem statement, research questions, and experimental approach. In the materials section, you need to include materials, of course. They are drugs, culture media, gases, or apparatus. Subjects should be included in this section. Subjects are human subjects, animals, or even microorganisms. Research design should be included in this section as well. They are dependent and independent variables, experimental and control groups. Finally, procedures of the experiment should be included in this section by explaining what, how, and why you are taking certain steps. This is a part of the materials and methods section on a research paper on behavior science. As you see the subsections in here, we have the descriptions about the research participants, how the samples are pulled. And there are also description of steps that the research researchers took. And here's another subsection. The subsection title says EAR system, which describes the kind of equipment used for the experiment. The research section is the major scientific contribution of your study. In the results, you need to include the reports of the main and important findings, presentations of data in figures and tables, and the summary of the data. This is part of the results section on a, a research paper on a nuclear engineering study. Research section reports only the main findings based on figures, tables, or graphs to summarize the, uh, the data. In the text part in here, to explain the graph, we see the sentences like figure 8 presents performance results or figure 8 shows. In the discussion section, we need include at least three components. 
These are the interpretation of key findings. Specifically, these are the answers to your research questions. Second, we need to include the summary and generalization of your research results. And finally, you could include the limitations and further research directions of the topic. This is an example of a discussion section. As we read this section, we see the summary of results, interpretation of key findings, significance of study, and the future research directions. Now this is the structure of a paragraph. In a paragraph, we need to have several important components. There, topic sentence, supports, details and elaborations, and conclusive sentence. This is an example of a paragraph structure. As we see in here, we have the major components of a paragraph. The main idea and focus, supports, elaboration, and um, reassurance of the main idea, which is the conclusive sentence. The structure of scientific writing needs specific and required sections. There, introduction, materials and methods, results, and uh, discussion. Each section consists of several paragraphs. The paragraphs require some components, such as main ideas, focus, major and minor details to support the main ideas, and a conclusive sentence to reassure the main ideas.